Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, guys. How are you today? Um, I'm a bit tired. No. Okay, good. Yes, it's, it's Thursday, you know, but it's it's almost the last day of the week, right? And then, well, but actually, the last day of classes. So that's that's something good. Tomorrow you will be able to rest a little bit more. Okay, good. Hello, Gladys. Hello, teacher. How are you, Gladys? Fine. Very good. Okay, excellent. Good to see you here. Right, and then we have Aide. How are you today, Aide? What? Hello, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good evening. Good night, everybody. Hello. Good evening. Okay, fine. Everything is good. Is good. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yes. Great. Excellent. Hey, Fer. How are you? Fine. Waiting Fine. for my class. I Wait was waiting for my class and I was watching TV and and checking my my Twitter because uh -huh. today. We, maybe we are going to have a new message from the president. Okay, yes. And, uh, probably they will extend, right, the, the, the quarantine, I guess, right? Yes. Yeah. I guess that's, that's going to happen. So, well, I feel like a fish now. <laughs> and I, you cannot get out of the tank, right? But I don't, I don't remember, you know, how to, how to drive or how to... I just kidding. Okay, but we'll see what happens, right? So we have to we have to abide by the rules, right? We have to follow rules. Hey, anyways. Okay, great, excellent. Uh, we have, uh, let me see today. Where were we yesterday? Okay, who can refresh the topic? We talk about uh, used to. Used to, right? Okay, what, what else did we talk about? Uh, we talk about the uh, how we have to use this phrase in with with answer and made made a question. Okay, good. Right. For example, the you know I, when yesterday we were at the end saying right yeah. uh, how to describe um, our childhood, right? Yeah. Was uh, uh, this were for, phrases or expressions? Or for example, if you practice something uh, in the past, and now you you can do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then, uh, how can we use the complex sentence? Right. For example, I used to wear. For example, I used to wear baggy baggy jeans. Okay, baggy jeans. Okay, when I was younger but I don't anymore, right? So that, that means that now in the present, like, you know, Diego says, I don't do it, mm -hmm. okay? So then you say, I used to, I used to wear baggy jeans, but now I don't, okay? Or I don't do, or I don't wear jeans or baggy jeans anymore. You, know, you can use a short form or you can use a longer one. For example, uh, I used to smoke, uh, what, probably 20, 25 years ago, but I don't anymore, okay? But I don't smoke anymore, okay? So then that means that I stopped doing that, right? So it's not part of my uh, habits nowadays, okay? What else? What else can we say about the past? I used to play soccer, but uh -huh. at present I don't. But now, or but at present, I don't. Okay. And I said no more. Or now, no, or now no more. Okay. I used, to, I used to practice trail running, and now I can do it. Okay. I used to jog, right. or I used to run. Ah, I used to run. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. But I now, used, now I can do it. But now I can't do it, right? 
Now, and if you want to explain the reasons why you can do it, then you can do it. Okay, because and you can, then you okay. can give reasons, right? So you see that that's why with this expression, you can describe the past, right? Then it depends on how much information you want to share with other people, right? For example, I used to run every morning, but now I can't anymore, or I can't do it because my because my I, knees hurt a lot. Uh -huh. Because yes. we are in, in quarantine. Because I am in quarantine, yes, or because uh -huh. because the police is going to 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 beat me. Beat me. <laughs> to beat yeah. me if I go out, yes. <laughs> or because also you can say because where I live is not very safe, or mm -hmm. because I don't have time because I need I have to work long hours. Okay, there are many reasons, right? Why we don't do some things now, right? For yeah. example, uh, a, I used to, let's say, uh, I used to be, I used to be thinner, okay? I used to be thin, okay? But I am not anymore, right? Because now I eat more and I exercise less, right? And then I found, I discovered that it's more delicious to eat than to do an exercise. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, actually, yes, it's true, right? So then, uh, or, or not. What do you prefer, exercise or eating? Both. 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 Okay, both. But, you know, eating a little bit more eating, you know, it's bad. Okay, yeah. no, it, dep it depends, right? It depends on every person. Okay. Yeah. No, there are people that eat a lot and they never, never get fat. You know, I, I have a friend who used, when, when we went out to eat, he used to eat, I mean, all the food that everybody left. So the, the, the food that we didn't want, he ate it. And the guy was, you know, like a spaghetti, you know, he was really thin. And now I see him, he's, I mean, he's old now, and he's a still very, very thin, you know, I don't know. It's the, I mean, that guy had a problem, <laughs> okay. He never got fat, you know, and he was not the kind of guy who was going to be exercising all the time. It's just his metabolism, right? That helps a lot. Okay, good. This is just uh, for you to see the introduction of this. Now let's see the, what we can, what I want to share with you today. Okay, we could probably, well, I have probably this one. To be town nouns and quantifiers. Yeah, but first I want to share something else. Let's see there. The platform and then we see the, the presentation that I have prepared for you. Okay, good. So then we have the, ah oh yes, because we have some, some things pending. Okay. For example, we said that we had, we used to, okay. And then we have the knowledge check. Yes, so that we have all the material covered, okay? So then we have the knowledge check here. Now we can, the first one is, where did Jerry grow up, right? So this is the question, where did he grow up? I mean, she, actually. Then what would be the best answer for this question? The last one. The last one? She grew up in Brighton, in Brighton, sorry, England. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She grew up. The first one is present, right? So, correct. Yes. The next one is present in third person, so it's not correct. So the best choice is two. Number three. Now the third one. Did Jerry have a help? Uh, have a hobby? Did Jerry have a hobby? Jerry used to. Yes. Get it used to or the first, used to? One. the first one. The first one. The first one or the second? 
No, first, first one. First one. Right. It's just two past tense. This one is present, and this one is also present in third person. Mm -hmm. So the best option, the first one. About number three. Uh, here. Choose the best response for this question. What games did you use to play when you were a kid? Second option. Second one. Second. Second. The second one? Yeah. 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 I used to play, okay? Because he has play in infinitive, I mean in the base form, and this one is in past. Okay, and this one is present, so it's not according to the verb. Okay, choose the best response to this question. What do you use to collect when you were when you were a kid? The first one. I used to collect comic books when I was a kid. Okay. What did you use to collect when you were kids? Do you remember? I used to collect nothing. <laughs> nothing. I used to collect kinds of, of beer and, and sodas. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. As a kid. And do you still have that uh, collection or do you still collect something? No, 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 no more. No, I used no. to collect uh, the locos. The locos, yes, I remember mm. the locos. Yeah. Okay, good. Right, okay, what else? What else did you use to? What else did you use to collect? I don't know, coins, comics, uh, 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 uh huh. Chibolas. Marbles, marbles, chibolas, marbles, yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Albums of World Cups. The, oh yeah, the World Cup albums. Yes, mm -hmm. that was a, yes. I, I had like three or four. I have like collect coins. Uh -huh. Other collect coins. The other countries. Oh, coins. Coins from different countries. Okay, that's a, that was a good one too. Yes, you collect coins. Okay, what else? Um. And Hada, what did you use to collect? My case, no, nothing. Nothing. What? What did you collect? Nothing. Ah, nothing, nothing. Okay, good. All right. Never. I used Not even. to collect Hey, uh, who was speaking because I didn't hear? Ada. Okay, Ada, uh huh? Ada, repeat please. Yes, repeat please, Ada, because. My case, I. I, I collect. I didn't collect anything. Anything. Okay, I didn't collect anything. Okay, I didn't use to collect anything. Okay, good. So then these are, you know, things that we used to collect. And you, Ricardo, did you collect anything? Did Just you used problems. to collect? Huh? Just problems. Pro <laughs> okay, I used to collect problems. <laughs> okay, all right, good. Luckily, you know, say I used to collect girlfriends or something, right? I used to collect, I used to collect problems. I wish. Okay. Or the girls can say I used to collect boyfriends. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Good. What about number five? My last my last job was easy and relaxing. I worked from. I used to work. Uh huh. I used. To. I used to. The first one. Yeah. Yeah. The first. All right. Okay. Very good. Let's see, guys. Okay. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Okay, so then I think that we have this concept you know, clear, right? Remember that practice is always important, right? It's always, always very important. Okay, good. Now that we're done with this one, uh, let's see, uh, Carlos, Carlos Sura, yes. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Can you please read this objective that we have here, please? Okay. 
will English conversational skills with the best you could, which you can use to describe your childhood or past. By the end of this class, you will be able to complete statements, negative, negative, and short answers with used to. Learn English phrases like, What sport did you use to play when you were a kid? Did you use to collect things when you were a child? And what did you use to for fun when you were a kid? Okay, you see, we already, you know, advanced a little bit in that uh, part, right? So this is the video that we watch, right? And then here, so we have another one now with the questions that we were practicing. Okay, good. Which is correct? Which of the three questions is correct? I'll take the first answer. Okay, good. The second one. The second one is the first option. The first. The first? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Number three. Teacher. Yes, sir. Because in the first question, I don't know who in the first question and the number mm -hmm. one. Yes. I don't know who said it in the first, but I think it's not the first, the first okay. option. No. Uh, okay, no problem. Okay, no problem. And then after we can discuss, right? Remember that this is just okay. a practice and then we find the the possible solution to on, on why the other one is the correct. Thank you. Okay, okay no problem. Number three? Yeah. The, one option. One. the what? The first one. The first one too? Okay. And the number four? Second option. The second? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, so then this one we have completed questions. What kind of videos did you use to play when you were a teenager? No problem. Okay. Now, uh, choose the best question here. Say, I used to. Uh, I used to care a lot about my appearance. Now, I'm too busy to to care how I look. What did you used to care about when you were younger? Okay, for example, look at these kind of questions, right? What did you used to care about when you were younger? These are nice questions to activate conversation, right? For example, what did you used to take care about when you were long, uh, you were younger? I used to. The, the possible answer, I used to take care of my physical appearance. I used to take care of my hair, right? Uh, I used to take care of my health, okay? Yes. My health. No? My skin. My teeth. Your skin. My, my skin, yes. Uh -huh. I used to take care of my skin. For example, if I went to the beach, you know, I was, I was going to use some uh, the sun, suntan lotion or creams, right? Uh, to block or protect from the sun. Uh, I used to take care of, what else? My oh, body. My body, yes. And my face. My too. face, uh -huh. Okay, not to take out the pimple and press your your, butt, your face, right? You know, and then yeah. after you, you look like a, like the moon, you know, with a lot of craters, right? Okay, <laughs> yes. Okay, I just, no? This question is referring Things in, gen in general, but exactly you can use about your yourself or that your person exactly or in general, for example, problems, money, mm -hmm. work. You can use that, that question in general. Exactly right. This is in general. Uh, for example, I was going to give an example. I used to take care of my of my oh, grades in the school example. of my grades in the school. So I wanted to. I, I always wanted to have good grades, right? Uh huh. I used to take care of my job. Okay. Okay. Now I now I have my own business. For example, you can say uh, I used to take care of my notebooks. I used to take care of my books. I wanted to have all my books very neat all the year. I don't know. I used to take care of my first my first car. Okay. So in general, right? 
and you can take you know as an example your your body right okay okay very good and the number two which is correct did you used to follow politics five years ago okay in general right no politicians no people the politics is in general in this case it's not a political party it's not a person this is in general like if you were interested okay in politics or event political political events mm -hmm. and in the number one here well this is yep. which is correct mm -hmm. do you used to worry about money when you were younger yeah uh, yes that was i'm telling you when when i asked about the first question because uh -huh. I... yes because it was not the first one right did you mm -hmm. used to the mistake is here, just little mistake, yeah. look. Only yeah. the letter D. It's possible and it's easy to make a mistake in a test, right? So yeah. be careful with this uh, when you read that you have this, because it's only the, the, the letter D is the difference, right? And then uh, just remember this is D, you use, okay? So this, okay. this can happen. I mean, it's something that if you realize that you have made that mistake, it's not a problem, right? But in a test, yes, it might affect your uh, your grade, right? Or your yes, your your percentage. Okay, so that that's why you know I think it's it's good to do. Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, yesterday, I this one, and Mariana? I had a problem with two questions. And what happened with that? Hey, you can do it again. You can do it again. It's okay. Uh, I, yesterday I did this one, mm -hmm. this lesson, but uh, I had a problem with two questions. Two questions. Uh -huh. And what happened with that? You can repeat it. You can repeat it, right? And okay. just make, make sure that you uh, that you uh, read uh, carefully, right? Carefully, because always when you take this, I mean, sometimes it seems very easy or simple. But sometimes there are, well, you have done it before in other levels, and sometimes there are little mistakes, and then uh, and just because of a period, a comma, or a question mark, and just because of that, then uh, the, the answer is wrong. No, okay. but uh, what happened with the score? Because oh, you, I you, only have 10, 10 points. 10? In this 10 one? points. Yes, in this one. Okay, let me... Well, I will check after your, because I, I can go to the progress, but I have to look for your name. Let me check. You are Mari, Mariela, right? Yes. Okay, let me check, and i let you know, okay, what you can do in that case, okay? Yes, yes. Uh-huh, no problem. Ah, okay. It's okay, okay. Thanks. Okay, good. <laughs> but try, try to do it again, okay? Try to do it again and submit it, right? Okay, okay. And see what happens, right? Good. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Now, let's see the next one. Okay, so that's the, basically that's the end of the, let's say basically the past tense, right? But before, before we, I just want to review with you a little topic. Can you see that presentation? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember this? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Okay, good. Just remember, uh, uh, just for you to remember uh, the, the pronunciation, right, of these verbs, right? That when you, uh, when we use the pronunciation, we say with the verb ends with T, like in this case, or with the, we had an extra syllable, right? Wanted, needed, decided, okay? You decide, okay? The last sound is D, and then we say you decided to do that, okay? So wanted, needed. When the verb finishes, okay, with all these consonants, T, K, K, S H, A C H, A F A G H, T H, 
double S or one S, the dense, that's what we have with the letter C, the sound, the sounds in this case, the last letter is E, but the sounds is just dense, okay? And then we have fixed. Okay, in this case, they call it voiceless, right? Voiceless is the vocal cords, okay, and produce vibration, and the voiceless don't produce the vibration. For example, this is P, but this is the name of the letter, okay? Yeah. But the sound is? Yeah. You will hear only only this, only the air, yeah. and the next one is. Okay, this is the sound. That's why you say helped. Look, yeah. uh, look, help. Uh huh. Looked. Wash, wash, washed. wash, wash. This is washed. Wash. 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 Okay. At the Washed. beginning, at the beginning, we can exaggerate Washed. a little bit. Okay, we can exaggerate a little bit because we need to. Uh, we need to uh, get our points of articulation are different, right? Are different yeah. in Spanish. So then, for example, you you can say uh, pretty, pretty in in Spanish, pretty. You say le aquí pretty. No, but in English you say pretty. But when you say very, very good, but when this is the sound in Spanish, the way that we pronounce, very good. But when you say very, they are sound different. Yeah. Very good, okay, very, very. Okay, so then the sounds will, will be different when we put the articulation in our mouth. So we have watched, here for example, laugh. This is F, left. DH, left. Breathe, okay? Breathe. Kissed. Dance. Fixed. Okay? And then the last one is all the rest of the letters from the alphabet. And then we have cold, so D. Cleaned. Offered. Damaged, love, love, used. This is the one that we are practicing now. Follow, followed, enjoyed, amazed, amazed. Okay, so these are you know a uh, the some of the letters, the endings, and this is the pronunciation. T. D and I D for regular verb. Mm -hmm. Yes, T sound, the I D sound, and D. So this is remember just this one is an extra syllable. Want, wanted, need, needed. Needed. Okay. One. And that's the. Okay, for the moment here we have the past tense. Uh I remember a uh, uh, a meme. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I don't know if if every if they and an ugly face. Okay, okay. <laughs> With the face. <laughs> yes. Don't don't capture the image if I do that. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's a good one. You say Thursday. Yes. Uh -huh, when you say all the sounds okay yes because sometimes you know uh, at the beginning is is good to exaggerate some sounds you know for for our because the ear is not our ear is not used to it right sometimes we say no i don't understand teacher because you know, it's difficult for me no sometimes what happens is that we don't uh, uh, we don't uh, our ear it's not used to this kind of pronunciation. Let me show you something. This is something funny, okay? So, of course, we're gonna, we're going to play here a little bit. Let me see.
Okay. I need a volunteer to read that very quickly. I'm in an office. Perfect English. Thank you, Rene. Mm -hmm. That's English or not? Yeah. Listen, listen to what he said. Laura, can you read it quickly? Yes. Um, Larry, how describe problems? No, listen, listen. Can you, this word in English. Um, I'm English. sorry. But read it quickly. <laughs> I'm in points. I don't know. Teacher. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll change it here. I'll make it easy for you. Okay, here. Read. Hmm? I, I mean, uh, I mean, none of this. Perfect. I, I don't know. Perfect English. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Diego? I mean, an office. Excellent. Is English or not? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. what is he saying? I don't know. Huh? He's, in, he's in an office. I am not. <laughs> yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Um, this is what we hear. This is what we hear, right? When you say, for example, when you hear somebody speaking English, okay, when you hear a person, I'm, then you I'm hear, for example, say, I'm in an office. office. I'm in an office. Mm. I, say, I say, I'm in an office, right? <laughs> but it's because our ear is not used to the code. All, all the sounds. I in an office. I, I mean, I mean, office. I mean. You see? I'm in an office. 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 Uh huh. I'm in an office. Okay. So then, this is, for example, the way. And then, and we do the same. I'm in an office. Uh huh. And we do the same in Spanish, right? Yeah. When we say, for example, <laughs> "Pere me voy a ver." Uh huh. Uh huh. So then we put all the words together. Imagine a person from Germany, from China, from the United States learning Spanish, and the teacher says, Espérame, wait a minute. And then all the students will say, what? Okay. So then, but this, is, this happens also in English, right? When they say going and gonna. Going, I am going to go, is correct. Gonna is similar to will, right? Gonna go. Okay, because the correct pronunciation is I'm going to, but everybody uses gonna. Okay, so that's why, you know, this is uh, some practice that we need to, to get used to this kind of uh, pronunciation, right? This is only a, a tip, right? So don't, don't feel bad when you watch a movie only in English, because, you know, the brain, and that's why it's good to be exposed to the language. You need to be exposed to listen in English all the time, watch movies. Now you have the opportunity to have Netflix, watch movies only in English, because in that way your brain will get used to understand, okay? Or concerts sometimes, I think. Uh, music, concerts, mm -hmm. uh, uh, for example, uh, videos from TED videos, the conferences, or anything, right? Short videos, like five, 10 minutes, then that will help a lot. The idea is to, to train your ear, right, for all those sounds. Okay, now uh, let me see who, Diego, can you please read the, this yes. objective here, please? Learn how to describe problems in English, in English okay. using nouns and non-count nouns. By the end of this class, you will learn how to describe problems in a city using Phrase like too many, too much, less, fewer, enough, and more. You will also learn about common non cons nouns, including water, oxygen, English traffic, milk, soccer, sunshine, etc. Okay. And understand how to tell if a noun is count or no count. An English oral comprehension audio exercise is included. Okay, so we're gonna have the you know the chance to you know to to see the video. But okay, but can you tell me for example the which are the what you remember from count and non count nouns? Rice. Rice. Uh huh. Rice is what? Non-count. Non-count. 
Okay, another one. Computer. It's computer. Account. It's account now, right? Okay, good. We have an idea. Okay, can you see this? Yeah. Image? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we have, for example, animals are count or non count? Count. 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 Okay, can you see, for example, the cat, dog, chicken, turtle, crab, rabbit, shark, crocodile, giraffe, cow, horse, butterfly? Is that me or somebody else? Do you hear that difference? Can you hear me? Sorry, that's me. Okay. I listen to noise, but I don't know who is. Okay, good. Okay, check your microphones, please, and see. Okay. So check your mics, and then you can turn it off. Turn off the mic, please. Huh? Turn off the mic. Yes. Microphones, because there's a noise yet, but I don't know who it is. Anybody? Yes, I don't see. I don't know if it is. But it's not a page. Well, check your mics, but you can hear it, right? Yeah. Yes, what? Well, it stopped. Well, thank God it stopped. Then, so we were saying, for example, here we have fox, elephant. If you see all this, are oh. count nouns, right? Nouns that we, can, uh, that we can count. And we can count because we can say one cat, two cats, three cats, four, uh, four frogs, five chickens. Yeah, totals, right? So we can put a number next to that. Then we have, oops. No, no, it's not time yet. It's not time to play yet. Okay, wait a minute. You want to start playing? Okay. Then uh, we have the, here the clothes. Shirt, suit, belt, pants, vest, gloves, dress. All of them are? Count. Count nouns, right? Count nouns. Okay, good. Here, food? Count nouns. Count. Chicken? Count nouns. Hamburger? Count. Some count. of them are count, but exactly, others right? and uh -huh. oh, For example, count. hamburger is count or don't count? Count. count. Chocolate? Count. And that's it depends. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, chocolate. Chocolate is a uncountable. Uh, right? For example, you can uh, you can say uh, you can say for example, I have a bar of chocolate. Yeah. You can count the bars, but not yeah. chocolate, right. Okay. Noodles. Chicken noodles. Count. Count. Okay, that's like a soup, like a soup, right? Baguette. Oh. Count. Count. Apple. Count. 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 Okay. Count. Final one that is not count. Milk. Milk. Water. Uh -huh. Water. Pepper. Which one? Pepper. Pepper. Nacho. Ketchup. Water. Ah, the ketchup. Beans. Coffee. 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 Yes. Lemonade. The lemonade. Uh huh. Solution. Uh, which one? Pork. The pork meat, right? The pork. I want. I eat some pork meat. You say one pork meat. Pork. Uh, sushi, right? The beef. So because these are more general. Okay, good. So this is you know for you to see the food too. So you have also ging uh, ginger, tea, uh, ice cream. Okay, and then we have this one. Okay, we're gonna play a little bit just uh, Hangman. Can you play Hangman? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just quickly, just for you two. 
to relax before we go into the into the lesson. Okay, you have to find out what what is the topic. Did you see the topic? Hum, hum, I think hum. hum. Okay, yes, but here we're going. To... I think was hum. Uh huh. Yes, we're going to talk about home. So these mm -hmm. are things from the house only. Okay, no food, no jobs, no transport. Home. Okay. All right. Letter. Anyone? A. E. A. A. Okay, good. Uh huh. I. I. Chair. Which one? Chair. 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 Oh, yeah. Where is a chair? Chair. The yeah. word chair. Okay, yeah. so we have C. H. Okay, H. the letter H. I am calling the H R and the R. Okay, good. Chair. Perfect. Chair. Mm -hmm. Next one. Okay. There are 16. Uh huh. Letter I. I. O. 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 Another one. See? Mirror. Okay, see? I, I think the word is mirror. Mirror. Mm -hmm. Oops, no. Oh. No. Uh huh. Another one? B. B. What? B. 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 Right. Which one? W. W. D, D, W, W, D, W, W, D. W. W. Window. Is window, 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 okay, you almost died, okay, window, another one, quickly, three, three letters, A, A, no, E, what? E, C. Oh, C. Another one? T. T. No. No. O. O. No. Uh -huh. A. A. I. 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 Okay. C. C is gone. C is done. K. K. S. S. K. K. S. No. K. No. B. U. B. B. Oh, D. Bev. Ah, there you go. Wow. Oof. Very close. Very close. You were close. Close to die. Uh -huh, another one. Oh. A. A. O. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, there you go. O. E. What? E. 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 Yes. You. You. Computer. Computer, uh huh. Computer. Um, computer. Okay, good. You're good, guys. You're good. Next one. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. 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 B. 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 Yes. E. 
a fireplace okay in these days it's good to have a fireplace in your house yeah okay. next one Okay, and then there are some others, okay? But, you know, this is a, another a, another game that you can, right. I think I will copy. And then I will, um, I will share it right there, the, the link in the, in the chat, right, so that you can. Okay, so you can use that link, you know, to, to play and practice voc vocabulary because you are going to, um, you're going to need that vocabulary, you know, in, in this unit, right? So then uh, just check the, the words, uh, the vocabulary, and then you can play a little bit to relax. If you have a little brother or your son, you can play with them and teach them English too. Okay. All right, so then now let me... Okay, now we're gonna see the video and this is the, the real class, right? This is how we are going to use 
the count and non-count nouns to express problems in our country or in a society. Okay, a little bit more complex. Now, listen. Okay, can you hear? Yes. Just let me check with the computer. Yes. Okay, here we go. And non count nouns. Let me give you a quick example of this. There's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. You'll also listen to an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. First of all, nouns. What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, places, or things. Pretty much everything that you see around you is considered a noun. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are simply all of those things, people, places, or things that you can easily count. So for example, when we think about cars, subway lanes, buses, those are nouns that you can easily count. Let me give you an example of other nouns that we can easily count. So for example, we can count things like a pen, a computer, a bottle, a spoon, a desk, a cup, a television, a chair, shoe, a finger, flower, camera, stick, balloon, book, table, etc. Another thing that I would like to mention about count nouns is that we can easily change these count nouns into plurals by simply adding an S. Now let me point out what non-count nouns are. And just like I mentioned previously, count nouns are all of those things that you can count. People, places, or things that are easy to count, such as cars, subway lanes, or buses, like we see on the example. Now, with non-count nouns, what that means is that we're gonna look at nouns that are difficult to count. So for example, in our chart, we see things like traffic, things like pollution, public transportation, parking, those are a little bit difficult to count. So let me give you more examples of some of the things that cannot be counted quite easily and therefore we consider this non-count nouns. So if we think about things like water, wood, ice, air, oxygen, English, Spanish, these are subjects traffic, furniture, milk, wine, sugar, rice, meat, flour, things like sports, soccer. All of these things are non countable. They cannot be counted easily. Another thing that's important to mention about non count nouns is that we don't add an S in order to ch change them to plural. They, they do not have a plural form. Next, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program for you so that you can listen to the perspective of some people about their city. And remember that the goal of this class is to learn how to express problems that exist within a city. For example, there is too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. And we want to use count nouns and non-count nouns to express uh, those ideas. So we're going to listen to that and I will have you answer a couple of questions about that. The buses are old and slow and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to answer some questions about your city. And what I would like for you to do is to tell me whether there is a lot of traffic in your city. So I'm going to ask the question, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Are there many buses in your city? Are there enough police officers in your city? Is there too much pollution? in your city.
and as you're answering these questions that I just posted I want you to identify the nouns that I'm using so tell me whether the nouns that I'm using whether they're count or non count so for example traffic is the first one is that count or non count um, police officers is that count or non count um, buses is that count or non count and pollution is that count or non count okay good now you see uh, what would be our let's say our objective right when practicing this a uh, uh, count and non count nouns okay for example the so we have here these are nouns, but I think that you already have an idea, but this is what we need, okay? Remember that we can, com we're going to combine, okay, the quantifiers, okay? What are quantifiers? Are those words that, uh, that we use to express the quantity, okay? Or amount of something. For example, you can say, I have some problem, right? Some sound like, you know, something that you can tolerate, right? But if you say, for example, I have enough problem, okay? Okay, no more, okay? I have enough, sufficient, okay? But you can also say, I have a lot of problems. So you see the, the, the quantity is, going up right and then you can say i have a few problems right okay not too many two three i have several several problems okay so i have many all right or in negative forms we're going to use i don't have any i don't have enough i don't have a lot of or i don't have many and this is also other words that we can use. I have some, okay, for example, uh, or there is, you can also use here, there is, there is some traffic, okay, uh, in this moment, okay, there is, uh, there isn't enough uh, food for all the people in this moment, okay, or we can say they, there are uh, in normal days, uh, there is a lot there is a great deal of traffic right so you see all these expressions are the ones that we need a few less more okay too much uh, too many okay any so these are the words that we have to be practicing some enough a lot of okay to express many much a few, a little, few and little, okay? So this is what I will be, what we will be practicing uh, next week. But for example, right now we can use some expressions like what is something that we have too many or too much in this moment in El Salvador? Water. Okay, yes, right? In these days, you know, uh, the El Salvador has received too much rain, rain. too much water, correct? Many people so, on there. Many people? On the street. Many people, okay, there are many people in the street. There are many people in the street. There are many people in the street. Uh huh. That's another problem that we have in this moment. What is another problem that we have? Think about the country, okay? Many people with virus. Uh, man, we have many people with the coronavirus. Okay, we have many people with the coronavirus, right? What else? You can use the. We have many. There are many. There is a lot. You can use there is, there are, have, anything. Practice. What? What else? We have a lot of people in a small space in the country. Yes, we have a lot of people, like more than 6 million people in a very small space. That's true. Okay, so we, ha we have more people than space, right? Mm -hmm. This is another one, okay? This one, we have more people than space. What else? We have more uh, people helping a lot of other people. We have? 
much people helping. Okay, we have many people. Oh, many. Yeah. Uh -huh, because it's count, okay? Uh, we have, remember, many is for count nouns, much for non count, right? We have many people helping other people. Good. Okay, what else? A lot of, a lot of people I... without house. We have a lot of people, or there are a lot of people without house in this moment. Yes. Uh -huh, Ada. A lot of slides. I don't know the deslizamientos. Oh, landslides. Uh -huh. Land, Land. Landslides. 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 Uh -huh. Yes, there are a lot of landslides. Landslides. Yes, mm -hmm. only in Los Choros last night there were 45. 45 landslides only in Los Choros. Uh, a lot of Yes, and then imagine in the, old, the rest of the country. So there are, or we have a lot of landslides in, in the, I mean, in the streets, in the, on the roads. Yes, what else? So you see these are problems, right? This is how we can, for example, you, we can use it in a context, okay? Now people, if you are going to go out, okay, tomorrow, be careful, okay? Because we have a lot of landslides all over the country. You have to drive slow. There are a lot of people driving very fast. Okay. okay. Then uh, there are many people, you know, uh, driving driving carelessly. Okay. You see here I'm using there are and many using count nouns. Okay. There isn't too much traffic in some places, but the accidents. But there are a lot of accidents. There isn't mm -hmm. much traffic, but there are a lot of accidents, okay? Yeah. So then you see, this is how we're going to be using, okay? A few, okay? There are a few, <coughs> let's say you say there are, there are a few cars in the street, or there are a few buses in the street, but there are, uh, there are many accidents, okay? So this is the idea of using okay. the, these two forms, okay? Okay, people, so I will see you on Monday, right? So have a very nice weekend. Relax, stay safe, practice your English, dream in English, that's the homework, okay? That you have to dream yeah. in English, okay? And you tell me your dreams okay. on Monday, okay? Okay. Right. okay. So, have a good night, take care, bye-bye. Good night. Okay. See you, good night. 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 Good night.